There's a school in Austin that has no teachers, and it's been getting a lot of attention online. And I'm here to find out what the deal is. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm Anna. My name is Levi. Nice to meet you. Are you going to give me a tour of your school? Yes. Well, I'm very, very excited. So then Alpha has three main commitments. The commitments are the students will love school. We want our kids to love school so they can be in an environment where they can learn and grow. And our second commitment is that they will learn 2x in two hours versus learning at a regular school in about six and a half hours. Mm. The last one is learning life skills. We learn um, fun and engaging life skills that'll help us later on in life like teamwork and computer coding. You're gonna show me those workshops, you're gonna yeah. show me around. Let's do it, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first space is called LL, which stands for Learning Lab. This is the kindergarten with a few first graders. Okay. So this is our youngest classroom. So this area is everybody's working on their computers right now. Mm-hmm. So what are they working on? Um, it's an app called Extra Math. Okay. So it helps them with their math skills, so like adding and subtracting, maybe like simple multiplication. So there's no math teacher? No. So we don't have teachers. We have guides. Okay. So if you have a question or what if you get stuck and um, you don't understand, you can. Something? So you can Google like a YouTube video, and then. In, you can also ask a guide for help for clarification, and if you're still stuck, then you can book something called a coaching call, where a remote coach, um, is. it's like on a Zoom meeting, and they come and help you. You're not learning the same exact thing as all your peers, right? Right. If you already know the material, you get to go a little bit farther yeah. or faster, okay. And then if I'm stuck, I can go like behind a little bit. And it doesn't matter. So right? like I can go back. And then this is their emporium. They can earn something called alphas. It's um, a type of currency that we use. Mm -hmm. And when so, do you get this currency? Um, anytime you, for, you can get it for um, doing your academics and being just a good member of the community. All right, so you so, get to then, exchange that for. And then you can buy all any of this stuff for a specific amount of alphas. So different levels have different check charts, but every level has their own version of the check chart. Got it. And then how long do you have to complete all these checks? About two years. Oh, about two years. Okay, so the time that you are in this level. Right. Right? Okay, and what happens if you complete them all very quickly? Let's say within a few months, then what happens? So then, um, since if they're not like mature enough to like, like they're young, so like if, my, if there's like a five-year-old and then they completed their whole check chart, we wouldn't we would introduce the next level check chart that would just stay in this classroom. Oh, that is wonderful. So they get to be with the kids their age or around their right. age, but, but they get to for, they're working at a higher level. So remember the students learn through apps. So I'm sure you're wondering, well, what about that human interaction? When are they with adults that are sort of taking care of their learning process? So tell me about the limitless meetings. What is that about? The limitless meeting? So the student and the guide, they would go to a separate space where nobody else is, mm -hmm. and they would talk about the student's limitless project. What is the student's limitless project? So different students have different limitless projects. A limitless project is something that they're passionate about, like really passionate about. Okay. Oh, so, so you get to meet with this guides once a yeah. week to talk about these things, right? Yeah. And you can ask them about anything and then yeah. talk about your interests as well and yeah. they help you. Okay, great. So that's like the mentor component. What makes you most excited about the school? What's your favorite um, thing about your school? That I'm able to learn twice as fast as a kid at a regular school. Okay, so that motivates you to want to keep on learning. Yeah. yeah. Do you also get to do some fun stuff? Are you yeah. always sitting in front of those apps the entire no. day? Or No. Okay. So then in the afternoon, we have our life skills workshop. Like today, we would have a poker workshop where we're learning how to regulate our emotions and we're learning Texas Hold'em Poker. So at this school, they're learning math through poker. Can you imagine if you were a kid and you got to learn that way? Freedom. You have a lot of freedom, a lot of flexibility. How do the guides and the adults make sure that the kids are not wild running, out of control? Like, are there rules or do you There's, all kind of understand? So then what we have town hall like once a week or once every few weeks. Mm -hmm. And then um, we get the student gets to decide on the rules instead of the guides making the most boring rules on the planet. Okay. It's so like um, one thing is like um, the oldest classroom wanted to have gum. And then they agreed that if they found gum anywhere besides the wrapper, the package, your mouth, or the trash can, then gum would get banned again. Mm. 
because gum was already banned. Got it. So this is a great example of what happens when you give kids the freedom, but everybody understands what the agreements are, and they all want for things to go smoothly. So many people think, oh, if there's a school where kids have all this ownership, kids are going to be running wild. Well, not really. If you look around, there's a lot of freedom, and kids feel really that autonomy over their learning. But there's no chaos in the negative sense of the word. It's productive chaos. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm looking at the schedule, and I've noticed the first thing for everybody is a morning lunch. What is a morning lunch? It's just something to get everybody motivated for the day. Okay. So give me an example. Um. So then it could be like a motivational video, but in my level, we do a lot of working out, abs, and positive attitudes. Ah. What is a cue break? A cue break. That's just our like 15 to 20 minute recess. Okay, and is that the only recess you have in the day? Um, so then we have this. We have a morning one and an afternoon one, and then lunch is also outside. Okay, so you you get those breaks between learning and then、yes. being outside and getting. You know, would you want to have more movement throughout the day, or do you think it's a good balance? I think it's a good balance. It's、so. a good balance. Awesome. So so what is this? What is this space? I see puzzles. I see. Stuffed animals. Um, this is going to be a lion jump, but the puzzles are for seven-year-olds who completed the Link Chuck Show but can't go to the next level yet. So we have special missions in puzzle clubs. It's one of them, so we get to, so we have to complete a 100-piece puzzle. Okay, so wait, so this is an assignment or part of your check chart? Yes. Okay, and do you enjoy it? Yes, it's fun, right? I love puzzles. So this is an example of a student that has already completed all their check charts. So they moved up academically. However, they're still socially with their peer group. So this is sort of like a special activity that they get assigned to that they can do in the meantime. So I've heard you and a couple of students use the word limitless a lot. So what does that mean? Limitless means like we can do anything, and that we're not just limited to like fourth grade content like me. I'm not just limited to that because I can do fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade content. So there is no speed bump. Kids can continue going as far as they're willing to go. So, and how old are you, and and why are you here with with this crew? So, I'm 14 years old, and I am in L3. And so,、uh, one of our workshops last session was planning another workshop to run. And so, my other classmate and I, Lily, we uh, uh, made this workshop, and then we proposed it to the guides, and they were like, "Sure, like, why not? You come do this." And so now, this session we're running it for the students. I love that. That is wonderful. Where you can have the older kids come and interact with the younger kids. That is great.、And、you guys like learning from her? Yeah. 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 Right.、That's、right. So where are we going now? Um, L two. That's our fifth and sixth grade classroom. Okay. And what happens there, or how is that different from the other ones? Um, it's just our oldest classroom. There's different things. There, we have. They have different workshops. It's almost, but it's like the same life skills. Okay. It's taught in different workshops. Like in L1, we have a public speaking one, give a five-minute TED talk. In L2,、oh. it's a give a eight-minute TED talk. Okay. This is just for specific guide group. No shoes on the rug. Okay. So this is the room for what? Um, this is just a specific guide group where they work. Okay, so workspace. So it, it looks very, very different from a traditional school where you have a bunch of desks and the chairs and everybody facing forward. There's none of that here. None of that. Okay. Yeah, the, the facilities are just incredible. They just make you want to come here. Thank you so much, Levi. You have been wonderful. I, I really enjoyed touring your school, and I think you're very lucky to be here. So thank you so much. Thank you.